How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we have another pair of Soleon headphones. Now these ones are a little bit different. If we turn around the side, these ones right here are actually supposed to be RGB and light up. My previous pair that I reviewed didn't have any of the kind of bells and whistles in there, but uh, I really enjoyed the quality and the comfort, so I'm really excited to try this out. Let's go ahead and zoom in right here at the bottom and see some of the details about the headset. So right here it says plush memory foam ear pads, clear and loud noise canceling microphone, and then a virtual 7.1 stereo surround. So it pretty much has the same as the last one when it comes to like specs. But let's open this up and see how these lights look on here. I'm really excited to kind of test that out. So let's go ahead and slide this off. And right here we're greeted with a uh, nice kind of Lion, I guess you'd say, wearing sunglasses. Or it could be a Camaro, honestly. It looks like it might have goat horns. And the other side is black. And let's go ahead and lay this down, kind of like a shoebox. And slide that up. And if we rotate this over here, you get a really nice view of the headphones. So this is basically how the other ones were packaged. Let's get a really nice zoom in on that. So they have a really nice plush kind of soft feel to them. If you notice when I press down, it kind of slowly goes back to its original position. That's because it is genuine, genuine, mem genuine memory foam. Like, look at me, I'm all tongue tied from trying to sound smart. Anyways, let's go ahead and pull these out. All right, so the first thing I noticed while pulling these out of here is this is an exclusive USB only headset, which I honestly don't mind at all. Um, I really think that the uh, single USB is a lot better if it had than if it had like you know multiple things sticking out of it. So I'm actually kind of excited, and uh, yeah, so. The design is relatively the same. It still has that nice kind of speaker grill. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. So the speaker grill is basically the same, um, made out of metal. The uh, logo is actually uh, still pretty nice. I like the design of it. And if we look over here, move that out of the way a little bit, we have the inside mesh area has a really soft you know if you can see I'm pressing down on it it actually has foam in there and uh, it's really comfortable from the last pair I've tried I'm gonna try these ones on right now too so I'm gonna let you know if it feels as good as the last pair oh yeah these are really nice the comfortability alone is just insane I'm gonna take them off so I'm going to go ahead and plug these into the keyboard on my computer real quick and see how that RGB lighting is looking. Alright, I went ahead and plugged them in and... Dun dun da da! It pulsates on the side, a really nice RGB color. And then the microphone itself right here has a nice little light on it. And it also comes with a little pad, so if you want to put this on here for... Uh, you know, if you have like any puzz or S noises and you want it to sound a little bit nicer, you can put that on there. Kind of defeats the LED a little bit. You can still see it. But let's go ahead and zoom in on here real quick and see how nice these lights are. Look at that. I like how the LEDs are like kind of like a little strip and it just goes around 360. But yeah, these are really comfortable and the LEDs look great. I'm really excited to own these. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of no copyright music on and test out the audio quality before ending the video. So let's go ahead and hear that. Alright, let's try these on now that we got some music playing. Yeah, that sounds really good. There we go. Let's go ahead and turn that music off now. So, as you can hear, the tempo and bass quality in these are just as exceptional as the last pair that I reviewed and honestly I'm really happy that this is just the RGB 
Um, you also have the option to turn off the uh, mic right here, I guess. And obviously, you know, the standard volume control on the actual headset. But I'm, I'm really surprised, honestly. Like, for the price of these headphones, the quality is what I would say a $100 plus dollar headset would have. But yeah, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.